Hello, good evening and welcome. I'm Menemy, that's how it's spelt and that's how it's pronounced. 
And of course, if you're not in the UK, that will be a insert time of day and welcome. Uh, today, we're continuing on with the second part of our playthrough of uh, 1999's System Shock 2. Yep, that is a slight humble prank there, the fact that I do in fact own an original 1999 uh, boxed copy of the game. Um, just to go through the brief content warnings before we head in for our playthrough. Um, of course, uh, the game does feature some themes of horror. Um, there is some violence and gore. For any arachnophobics, there are unfortunately spider-based enemies in this game. Um, any viewers who suffer from epilepsy, there are unfortunately flashing lights and flashing static imagery within the game. Um, and of course with this being an older game uh, it will be subject to bugs, glitches, possibly the game crashing on me at any point in time. Uh, we are using some texture mods to make things look a little bit better and more up to date but otherwise things are pretty much as they would have been uh, nearly 20 years ago now. Uh, rather than waffle on, as we did a lot of talking in the first stream, we'll just get things started up here. Now, let's get the computer bit working here and make sure you're all seeing this. Any time now. Don't break. There we go. Right. Fingers crossed it loads properly. There we are. So just a quick recap on where we got onto in the game. Uh, of course we are aboard the uh, Von Braun spaceship. Uh, in universe the first uh, ship to be able to reach light speed which has taken on a fairly large crew of sort of uh, families, scientists and engineers and a small uh, military detachment on a uh, ship that's attached itself to the Von Braun which is the USS Rickenbacker. We've awoken from cryo sleep with no memory of the past few weeks to find ourselves uh, with a bunch of cybernetic implants. We don't really know why we've got them. All we know is we're taking instructions from a Dr. Janice Polito. We've been trying to make our way up to deck four but the lifts are currently cut off. So we've had to do a very roundabout search to find the codes to access the maintenance shafts and that's where we finished off last time. We we're just about to access the maintenance shafts and go monkey hunting. Dr. Watts is alive and in his office. He should know the code to the maintenance access shaft. Hurry! He's been badly wounded. Don't let him die before he tells you that number. Of course what we just have to do is find out what that number was. There we go. One, two, four, five, one. Of course as soon as we go in we get some cyber modules. We are pretty close, so we might just see about spending those quickly. Just got to remember what direction we're going in for that. Ah, I forget. We'll find somewhere else to spend those later on. Of course, uh, Dr. Polito is being uh, quite demanding, and uh, we've had Xerxes, the ship AI, tell us that we uh, shouldn't be working for her and remember what she's done, alluding to possibly the events of the first System Shock. We'll have to wait and see. You're now on the engineering deck. Find the engine core and reset it. This 
restore power to the elevators. I'm getting some kind of strange readings from down there, so keep your eyes open. Another note, of course, is that whilst I'm not using any cheats for this run through, I will use save scumming uh, if needed, just due to the fact that uh, I don't want to have to make people go through repeated sections of this game if unnecessary. It's down to just a few of us now. Right after Valdez died, I, I guess I went a little nuts and started tearing things apart. But what do you know, I, I found two more rad hypes. Hopefully that'll keep me going long enough to figure a way past that damn turret. Who is that? Delacroix? Sanger? Of course, we uh, discussed last time about the uh, usage of audio logs in System Shock 2. Uh, just before I go there, we'll uh, have a quick look on the map to see which direction we really want to be going in. The elevator that way. What's on the floor? Shuttle bay, engine core. All right. Run for it. This is Zedzi's. Oh, hello. To avoid possible detention and execution, please respect the will of the many. The radiation must have locked the protective seals on engine core access. You're going to have to find some way to purge the radiation from the coolant tubes. Xerxes is blocking me out of the primary data loop, so I can't get any information to help you. He's working for them now. So some of that stuff there. So as I was saying, so the audio logs, uh, whilst they were in the original System Shock, it's System Shock 2 and subsequently uh, Bioshock, the spiritual successor that really brought uh, audio logs into the uh, forefront of uh, gaming and again as mentioned last time round unfortunately to a rather over ubiquitous use to the point where they were lampooned in a number of games uh, one that I remember most notably being in um, South Park The Stick of Truth with a segment on the uh, alien spaceship where you had someone asking why they were leaving so many audio logs around whilst they were slowly dying. Right, so I follow the tunnel in the other direction. Right, there's no radiation just here. Let's see the elevator. There's going to be engineering control. So we want to go left and follow it left and round a bit. Fluxy boy and uh, lampooned. Uh, that just means sort of basically to uh, take the Mickey out of, to sort of parody it, uh, make it a source of comedy. until he got the hint. Now I tried to contact him to see if he knew what was going on, but all of a sudden, he won't return my mail. And you're welcome, Fluxy Boy. Anatoly, you must open up 
the planet to the scientific staff of this vessel. If there is something down there, it's bigger than Triop. It's bigger than the UNN, and it's bigger than you. And why have you and Diego shut off Deck 3? What's going on? So, uh, Corinth Kin, uh, we have had one audio log from uh, earlier. Well, I just shot you notice me. There we go. Again, he was uh, looking at this planet, uh, trying to remember the name of it now. Tail City 5, and looking at it in a very uh, corporate manner. Uh, I guess somewhat similar to a uh, pool. Oh, I've forgotten his name now. Paul Ryzen. Maybe Paul Risenberg's character in uh, Aliens. Basically, uh, the guy from the Wayland Utani Corporation who gets his comeuppance towards the end of the film. Now, just look at the notes to find out what the code for here was. 59004. And hello, Jim and O'Brien. I thought that's the right code. Is this not the right door? That's chemical storage. Of course. Of course, a little neat point of this uh, game as well, we can leave little navigational markers which will show up on the map, but also show up in real life so you realise where they are when you've gotten to them. Right, check my map again. So. Maybe that, that covered as a little cubby hole, so let's go around and to the left. Unfortunately, sort of this little area, um, sort of the engineering bit, can be a little bit annoying to navigate, being sort of essentially a standard corridor maze. It is what it is. Um, Obviously, sort of uh, games in the future would uh, work on these sort of engineering type things a lot better. Um, recent game, Alien Isolation, would. God damn it. Would work a lot better in sort of uh, using the claustrophobia of uh, going through things such as Jeffrey's tubes. Uh, places that uh, certainly seemed a lot more like you do maintenance on them as opposed to obviously grey panel walls with a few cables and hazard strips. Right, was this the place? I've probably got the code wrong. 59004. There we go. from the surface of Tau City 5. They've been able to infect a number of crew members through an extremely invasive parasitical technique. They've also demonstrated the ability to control the actions of others through some form of limited telepathy. Find the research soft, understand them, then kill them. Right, thankfully we found the radiation suit which will make going through this area just a little less annoying. We do not know that. You cannot see the value of our way. There's a boy over there. He's apparently didn't notice us, so we can ignore him for the time being. That fellow over there will happily explode in our face given the chance, so would I dearly like to avoid that? Oh. 
First of today's monkeys. Good, damn it. There we go. First time. Selection. Activate this. <laughs> That's right, Fluxy Boy nailed it. <laughs> We've already researched the monkey brain, so don't worry about that. A few armor piercing, security control station, we don't need to worry about it at the moment, I think, so we'll just leave that for the time being. As we manage to uh, hack the camera outside with the wrench. Got an absolute boatload of cyber modules, so we'll be upgrading that in a bit. That's the elevator for later on, so I'm going to be going through here. I know it make a big wheel. <laughs> you can get on the phone to Peter, we're a million light years in space. Unless you get on the phone to Space Peter, then we're in trouble. As you can see, uh, if you weren't here for the first stream, the hacking is a simple match three game. Doesn't have the time limit to it that Bioshock does. But the uh, game world is still running in real time behind us, so there is the chance of being snuck up on from behind. There we go. Security system offline. Right. This is Xerxes. Due to the recent confusion, oh. there will be a ship wide census tomorrow. Not getting up there. All personnel, please report to the common area of deck five at that time. <laughs> I don't know if Peter rules the universe by this moment. Uh, it could be them, it could be Greenpeace. It could be Friends of the Earth. It could be the worldwide army of Trump. Let's hope not. Yeah. 
and it's only mild swearing Fluxy Boy. I haven't used the big C yet. Now, depending if there's a That'll depend on if there's a big jump scare that I've forgotten about. And yeah, <laughs> Mega Big Will is completely correct. I can't control my swearing when I'm playing games. So, so far I've been fairly restrained because I know I've got an audience. There's a Psy Hypo, so I don't need that. Oh. Ah, that's skill 4, darn it. I'm not sure what's creeping me out worse. The hybrids with their pipes and shotguns? The berserk turrets are our supposed allies. I don't trust those UN ambassadors. That's a lot of turrets. Fine Sanger. She knows the access code to Florida's control. I'm going to make my way over to Cargo Bay 2 to find her. Uh. I'm definitely not saying that. have here is what we say in the medical community as a translucent red squishy thing. Right, I'll leave that to uh, do its thing. security subsystems because now my technicians are unable to take them offline until we get to the bottom of this I've ordered all security turrets recalled to storage but now I can't get in touch with the team I sent out to do the recall let's go oh yes weapons because I need to get standard up to three because then I can use my shotgun now and normal right that's the leave me leaves me 11 that's still good Where is it we need to go? I've completely forgotten. 
great code for engineer control is in cargo bay 2 right I presume that's going to be in that direction but just before we do that And I'm not resorting to a, oh well, unless you're referring to the shotgun as a doinker. I'm not going around uh, melee doinking things unless I absolutely have to now. That replaces the med hypo I just wasted. down here. Nope. Alright, let's go through to the cargo bays. That's helpful. Do you not trust the feelings of the flesh? Our biology yearns to join with yours. We welcome you to our mass. But you puzzle us. Why do you serve our Choose cold metal over the splendor of flesh. But you fear us. We hear your thoughts, and they rage for your brothers you believe dead. But they are not. They sing in our symphony of life. We offer another chance to join us. If you choose to lie down with the machine, we will rend your part and put you separate from the joy of the mass. Monkey! Right. So, that was our first look proper at the many which provides base who are basically sort of the main enemy of this game. Right, change that over to standard for now. And uh we'll be hearing more voices than I had in a few visions from time to time. So be prepared for that. And yes, very spooky, very scary. Are they? I miss you. 
I know it's stupid, but I do. I think I'll wallow in self-pity for an hour or so, and then write you again. Figures. I have to travel 67 trillion miles to meet a man. Once you're transferred to the Von Braun, everything will be better. I'll be better. I promise. Great. Someone's coming. Counting the seconds. Fags and booze there, but we don't need any of that. Oh, we're still crouching. Yeah. Hack the security camera. Right, so that could have gone a bit better. Right, that could have gone a lot better. Saves coming time. Because you do not need to see me dying over and over and over. Guy, but I think he's on another floor. Possibly down. Yep. Yeah. Explosive barrels. No. Stay where you are, Beck. I mean it. This isn't something you can fight. This isn't something you can run from. If you love me, you won't come looking for me. Just hang tight. I won't let you down. Whilst we're here, we'll just. Pair up the shotgun a bit and the pistol. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any way I can make searching through crates exciting, so I apologise for that. If there's anything hidden behind these. Anything I can drop at the moment. 
moment. Oh, thank you, Fluxy Boy. You think I'm great? Trigger warning suicide. Okay. Hello? Again, there. Uh, another call back to the original game, of course. Uh, Diego having uh, helped create Shodan in the first game by releasing the parameters on her system. How many have I got? 11 modules. Let's see what we can upgrade. Movement speed, weapon kickback. Chances of doing hacking alright. I think I'm going to boost my hit points up. A little bit. And yes, I think it's going to go up definitely. That's right, that'll do for now. Station. Oh, I need some sort of object to go in there, so we'll obviously find that later on. Yes, I realise about the points in maintenance. We've got some in there. If you remember, we got some towards the end of last stream. Just to prove it, two points in maintenance, two points in repair. We have achieved Nirvanic balance. And we are, of course, still on the quest to kill all monkeys. Well, not all monkeys, just evil monkeys. For example, if we were to come across Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys, those would be okay monkeys. 
the heroic monkeys. Seem to recall some of these robots coming alive at some point. This is Xerxes. Can you not feel the glory of the flesh? Do you not yearn to be free of the tyranny of the individual? That's a robot. That's uh, not a robot. Extra shotgun slugs won't go amiss. So we've got left and a right. Left doesn't have an exit, which means it may have goodies. But also traps. Those traps may be protecting goodies. of soda only replenish one point of health so it's a bit of a waste of nanites unfortunately but I'm up here explode so oh sh no don't explode that son of a right let's try this again So that makes all the droids go a bit wacko. Let's see what's down this way. usage of the lean system which uh, there wasn't much of uh, back at this point in time in 1999 
works this whole thing up here. Right. speedrun strats using a slightly janky engine that's not suited for speedrunning. Why can't I now hear monkeys? There aren't meant to be monkeys in this bit. lost this is bad but important thing first where's the monkey get up there department store shopping on a Sunday afternoon. I don't need your help, I just need to get what I'm shopping for and get out again. That bit over and done with. I think I'm going to need to use a med kit. Right, we need to address a very important issue here. I have. After we run away. Uh, 
left, I think. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, very important thing. I am good at jumping in games, Jiminal Prime. You take that back. It's just that Jersey Devil was a very hard game. A bit too hard. It's not my fault I still wake up in a cold sweat thinking about some of those really hard jumps at the very first level of the game. but to register a complaint with corporate. If you want to take me seriously, perhaps Sergeant Bronson and her security staff will. Right. I've just got to try and remember what keys I've got. Cargo Bay 282B. Right, there we are. So now let's go to my right and up. I could jump Jiminal. I could. There's just gliding involved as well. That's a pixel perfect footwork. I was caught by surprise. I was having a Nan flashback. Fine. Well, we can't get the malfunctioning turrets offline, and now Xerxes isn't even talking to us. Pollard thought of a workaround. By running bypass into central control, we can hack into the turrets locally and take control of them. However, that means walking right up to the little sons of bitches and hoping they don't go off. One thing is sure, I'm going to figure out what the hell happened here. I am going to guess that didn't work out for her. And yes, the camera angles in Jersey Devil were possibly the biggest enemy in that game. And to think we're only a couple of years away from oh, who's in? Only a couple of years away from full camera control. It's probably upstairs. Floor next time, Alec.
And yeah, being able to shoot is uh, at least a bonus in this, despite the. Uh, I know what I will say is, camera in uh, System Shock 2 does feel a bit oversensitive. <laughs> I've got this. Uh, I've got the uh, mouse sensitivity down by down to sort of maybe about twenty five percent, and even so, just the slightest touch is making it twitch all over the place. It's uh, not ideal. Oh yeah. Might reload that one. Oh, but I'm not going to get this first time now. No, don't just... No, that did not count as jumping. And if it, even if it did count as jumping, this isn't Jersey Devil, so it doubly doesn't count. Now oh, those can stay there. Starting to run out of inventory space now.
course now I've been that cocky I'm going to get completely pummeled by a monkey or something. Oh, that turret that's just around the corner. Let's find those boxes. Just remembered what happens here. Whoops. So, for those of you that haven't been through this before, because the lift is broken and I just tried to use them. Oh, yeah. Because the lift is broken and I press the button, it's try calling for maintenance, which means it's going to be a maintenance bot turning up soon. Which is not good. So that, that can can stay there. Too much health to lose. Like I said, the save's coming all the way. Yeah, this uh, game unfortunately doesn't skimp out on the amount of damage it does to you. And uh, considering I've only I've got seven med hypos and one med kit, which isn't bad, but it does mean if I allow myself to have too many combat situations like that, I am going to uh, going to be in a lot of trouble very quickly. Oh. 
Two of them? Oh, son of a... Oh, no. Push the button. Alright, let's use one of these on the shotgun. Sounding like uh, that fellow is perhaps not going to be on our side in the future. Constance, I fear now for my life. I think this has gone beyond any imaginings of Diego and Korenchkin. I do not believe they are in control at all. We must discover what it was they found down on the surface of Tau 75 and why they guard the secret so jealously. I think this is more important than my life, or your life, or the life of this ship. Be brave and be careful. Say is uh, for what has been sort of a set of uh, essentially sort of rather repetitive cargo bay areas, they've at least managed to uh, keep the encounters fairly unique between each set of them from the exploding gentlemanly robots to the monkeys to the maintenance droids that I accidentally brought in. Oh, not another bloody robot. I think he's upstairs. And then at the end of the day, sort of, uh, if we ever make it to space and beyond, it's not like our actual cargo bays are going to be uh, designed in such a way to make them fun to explore. Oh yeah. Done it again. First death. Death by elevator shaft. Peace. Power 
if you need to press F, press F now. There's a robot. Fancy my chances against the robot at the moment, to be honest. This may be a slight running situation. Sneaky, sneaky. chances to have a look at the uh, design of the maintenance spot. Clearly inspired a little bit by the uh, sort of power loader design from uh, Aliens, but with a little bit of a harking back to sort of a 1950s sci-fi design as well. device which will allow us to modify a weapon. We currently have zero points in the modify skill so it's not recommended at this moment in time. There we have a robot. Uh, what? Ow! Son of a bitch. Excuse my language. Let's do a bit more of a uh, quick escape there. Oh yeah, that one's broken. Right, right so call this back up. Oh, sugar. He's up here, and that means he's not going to be down there. I'll take a slight health hit. 
and just use a med hypo. So I consider that an acceptable loss. Considering in fact I've got no armor penetrating ammunition left. I think I've searched that body, we'll just double check. Yep. Was it this way? No. Works. So see if there's anything I can upgrade quickly whilst I'm here. Get some points to modify. Okay, so let's go and find this engineering bit we needed to get to. Control computer to activate it. Install hardware override 45. 
5M DEX in the system's monitoring unit in command control. You can find 45M DEX in auxiliary storage 5 in the coolant tubes. Key code 34760. Xerxes is one step ahead of us. He's performed an override on the Fluidix control computer and blocked us out. But keep an eye open. You might be able to find some workaround. Okay. Right, so I know where we're needing to head to for that. So before we embark on our voyage for the next step of that quest, first off, do another quick normal save. And that's about an hour and a half in. So I'm going to take a quick five minute break just so I can stretch my legs and get my eyes off the screen. So uh, we'll be back in about five minutes time. Right, and we're back now that we've made sure I'm not going to uh, 
cause an unfortunate accident to my lovely IKEA desk chair. So you need to go to the uh, auxiliary storage room that I couldn't get into earlier on. Which means navigating the uh, radiation tunnel maze once again. At least this time I have a hazmat suit. Let's go over which direction I'm going. So, that's the one that I've been in already. Fairly certain. Yes. So orientate myself. Go right, follow it round. Is that a bit radioactive? I'm not sure. Let's just be safe. I did forget to search these boxes. Where's the other one? Oh yeah, of course it's where I left the uh, little navigation point. Searching this earlier on, we need some osmium, which is OS. Hopefully, there's some here. There we go. So, we'll let that do its thing, and we've also got to find there's a monkey. Uh, circuit board it is we're needing to pick up. So 45M DEX. As you can see we're looking at the uh, top part of the screen here just telling us what we're actually looking at. something else at 50%. Yeah. Here's a no. The moment I step out of the door of this room, it's going to say, I need some antimony or iridium, or something like that. I'll leave it. 
If we were on my own time, I would stand around and wait, but uh, I'm not going to make you go through that. So, back through here, just in case there's any squishy guys ambushing me. safely out of the drum and bass zone. Still going on that report. So hopefully that should be uh, done very soon. Put our armour back on. Oh no, of course, go. I'm an idiot, we've got to install the board all the way back over in the other area. So of course, uh, sort of, the design of uh, System Shock 2, again for the time, was uh, quite unique for what was ostensibly a first person shooter with RPG elements over the top, as opposed to being a quote-unquote RPG first style of uh, experience. Need to get, yep. What have we got? Oh, okay. Of course. I've got those can be used as healing items, so I just wasted one. Alright, so now we go up here, head up to the command deck and install that new motherboard. But yes, the open ended nature of this sort of uh, was something that was all. It wasn't quite new because there were other games that we'll get to on this channel sort of in later times that uh, had si sort of similar approaches, but it was still sort of first person shooter genre was still somewhat finding its feet. Um, Doom, of course, um, it only come out in 1993, um, and this being in 1999, only six years later on, it was still expanding the genre sort of quite exp exponentially. Um, games before it, such as uh, Hexen, had provided sort of the idea of sort of a 3D hub world as opposed to set levels and sort of going out. In that it was more a case of sort of pressing switches in levels, open doors to, to more switches and other levels. But uh, we're seeing here part of the progression of what would lead to But we're seeing what would lead to a more open-ended, uh, objective-based um, gameplay, sort of 
what we see now in sort of say uh, say the Far Cry games, um, we are given sort of essentially a great big sandbox playground, told that you've got an objective, and it's up to you to work out how you're going to do that. These are sort of the uh, stepping stones for how we get there. Right, so we definitely want one in modifier. as well. Steps. the other modules. Actually no, we don't need to upgrade weapons much beyond this, do we? So I give us just one more boost in hit points. That should be okay for tanking the rest of the game. from those So at this point in the game we're going to start seeing sort of a little bit more variety in the enemies that will start turning up. Obviously we've mostly had uh, sort of the turrets, security droids and uh, the basic uh, sort of humanoid many um, antagonists. So uh, as we head down sort of towards hydroponics uh, we'll start to see more of what the uh, game has to offer. Um, again as we're sort of just over halfway into the stream um, I'll repeat what I said at the beginning which is uh, if you are a viewer who is arachnophobic then do be warned that those will be a spiders will be appearing later on in this stream so make a proper save there in fact 13 modules might as well go back and level whilst we've got the chance Apologies for the backtracking, but best to use them whilst I can.
13. Let's get the cybernetics up another level. Right. Also try out is some of the weapon modification system. There we go, weapon's been upgraded and we've not broken it. That's always good. Worth point skill three. I uh, attempt it on the pistol. I should be able to. Right. As I say, we are safe coming this, so. No need, we got that done, okay. Pistol level one. Save there just in case I mess up the next one. I need multiplier three for that as well. So let's go down. Okay, not there. I have forgotten the uh, running order of this game, so I do apologise. I'm also just going to... You will lose a uh, viewing of the game for just a moment, so I do apologise. I'm just going to make a quick... Change that. That's why chat box had buggered up. Because I don't believe I've been seeing chat for about the past 20 minutes. There we go. Right, let's get this show on the road. So if you said anything brilliant and insightful since I got back from break, I'm sorry, I completely missed it. I'm sure it was wonderful. Please make your selection. And we would have had a jolly good laugh about it. Hi but uh please make your selection. Please make your selection. Hi there. Replication database reinitialized. Some piercing bullets that would be helpful. They're quite expensive. Thank you for thank you for choosing. We hope you enjoyed replicating with us. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Definitely getting meta I pose. So we re-enter the drum and bass tunnels.
there. Please make your selection. Oops, still got these for the eyes. Where does this lift go? I can't remember. Let's find out together. Main power will fly. Fair enough. Laser sword. Can I use it? Energy weapon for no. Well, I am unfortunately never getting that. So. They hit us six hours ago. Malone, the USA spook, tried to take one of those things out with a pyrokinesis attack, but didn't even break stride. Then it unloaded both barrels into his stomach. Falzone said there's a weapons cache in one of the engine nacelles. Maybe I can find him and the others there. because things will probably come running. I've been contacted by some kind of artificial intelligence that wants to help me reclaim control of the Von Brandt from whomever or whatever is now in charge. I don't know where it came from, but I must confess, I'm happy it is here. Don't trust it, it's on the box of the game. First off, it's a portal to the 70s. Nothing on that balcony, so 
Oh, we'll talk about that room. down here before I activate the next thing. Does it look like there's anything down there? No. See there are uh, lovely pile of worms. Unfortunately, not the variant with uh, bazookas and hand grenades and ninja ropes. I don't know where we'd be without Delacroix. This whole ship is falling apart. She's the only one who knows what from what. I saw her arguing with that creep Anatoly Kreskin or whatever his name is, and she was giving it to him for good. With that freak job, stares her straight in the eye and starts babbling about how she doesn't know the pleasure of the joyful unity or some such. Mamma mia, the clowns are running the circus. Okay. Was apparently a bit toxic. Oh, I stepped in the worms. That was stupid, wasn't it? Uh, 
that the house out here at just a moment. This bit here is for a plot line or come yep, so we won't be able to get in there just yet. So let's do a proper save. Here for my characters bobbing a shotgun along to the uh, 90s drum and bass. stack so that's fine there we go right I'm dorking on the haters Apart from when the haters are hiding around corners. I'm sure. Oh, I didn't pick up the anti personnel. Not anti personnel, anti armor. Damn it. Is my hat high enough to. Let's go four. Damn it. Twenty-four bullets. I just have to uh, sock this up a bit. Sure, if I'd uh, refer to myself as the uh, boss man after that display, but uh, we'll get back to it. I just unfortunately caught on the ways. I've got to do peeking round corners, which is, of course, the most important thing to do. see our first encounter with the bit cyborg midwife. Quite why a uh, midwife has death lasers, I don't know, but they do. And uh, 
they are quite happy to use them. should work for the fourth time I clicked on it. And I've already done that. Oh, it's the left I'm going to. I am not on the ball today when it comes to the objectives. Really not. Right. There's a chemical storeroom somewhere around here. I think it's that one. So I need to get some of my research done. some NA later on. This is of course a sodium. Which isn't in here. Fantastic. I think is upstairs. Not quite salt because we've not added the uh, chlorine. That would be uh, NaCl, sodium chloride. Uh, uh, I've just got to remember where the uh, C C is along and there. So to the right and left. Oh. Let's be the 
descent maybe. Well, fine. I did want your stupid sodium anyway. I am not Jesse Heisenberg. <laughs> I just paid attention in school. Hydroponics, but go in, try that. Go to Hydroponics. Damn, something's blocking the shaft, and the elevator can't reach deck four. I'm attempting to determine. I'm detecting massive quantities of some kind of biomaterial that's plugging up the elevator shaft. The environment on this level has been altered to be some kind of breeding chamber for the xenomorphs. It shouldn't prove dangerous unless you plan to stay for more than a few hours. But in order to clear the shaft, you're going to have to remove the biomaterial. I'm accessing the primary data loop. Let's see what we can find out there. Right, for the arachnophobes, this is the spider part. Nick, I know you won't get this until after we've returned, but I've had to express how incredible I feel. We've finally done it, made contact, and Muldoon and I have been selected to be involved in the initial work. Anatoly's one condition is that I tell no one aboard the ship. The creatures are remarkable. They're so helpless, I feel somehow compelled to protect them. It's a miraculous discovery. that station without It's Nails vibe going on with the music in this area. And then we're back into the drum and bass. Oh, I'm a piercing bullets. Bloody course.
that light armor, yeah. Now who's shooting at me? Pete's sake. from in here. Cybernetics up. Next thing I want. Yep, benefit from uh, meta hypos definitely. We need in here. I don't think so. So you see the uh, very immediately now the uh, influences from alien coming into play here. Although we've got worms instead of face huggers. Some kind of communal entity. 
Well, I'm not sure whether airborne toxin A will directly kill any ambulatory specimens. It should impact their communal mass and remove the residue I've observed growing on the walls and the lift shaft. But perhaps there is a more potent formula to be synthesized. We shall call it Toxin B. That's B standing for brutal, savage, wrecked. for what's next after System Shock 2. Um, on System Shock 2 at the moment it's going to be continuing on Thursdays. Uh, from this Tuesday coming up we're going back to uh, one of the first uh, pioneers of uh, FMV CD puzzle games which is the seventh guest, the horror themed uh, puzzle game which has probably not stood the test of time but we'll see. After System Shock 2 I'm not 100% sure yet, but we may go back and finish off the original Doom, and then uh, after we manage to get sneak in half an hour at the end of Mist, and uh, after that we'll go from there. Uh, no definite plans just yet, we'll be whatever takes my fancy, and uh, try not to do anything sort of too similar next to each other. So for instance, we won't go from Doom straight on to Doom 2, or anything else that's too similar to Doom. We'll make, it'll be another sort of action-esque game. But it won't be sort of too comparable, just sort of keep things a bit sort of uh, variety. Right, that I believe is broken. This I believe is about to be. Researching this. So I need two lots of uh, antimony and one lot of um, V. What's V? Is that viridium? No, that's made up. Antimony. I know there's some of that downstairs. So we have to go and get that. Jubilee Prime. Uh, we might go back and do a Resident Evil game. Um, with the remake of uh, Resident Evil 2 coming up, um, could go, I do have, I believe, yes, I still have the original PC CD version of Resident Evil 2, so we could go through that. Um, alternatively, well, it depends on if I'll have the money in time to uh, get the remake when it comes out. If we do, then we can possibly uh, go through that and do a blind playthrough of that as well. And we can all wet our pants together. Right, let's quick look on the map, see there's a chemical storeroom nearby. Not there at least.
side. Right, we're about to do a bit of backtracking, so for that I do apologise. Unless it's not going to let us go back down. There we go. Yeah, well, uh, Jiminal Prime, it sort of similar to uh, the remake of the original Resident Evil. It looks very much like you've got a similar sort of police station layout, but there's enough change there for everything to feel pretty much brand new. And they will probably mess around with things again, just enough so that you uh, think you've solved a puzzle and in fact it's led you into a trap. There we go, some antimony there and some other antimony. There's there some V, got some Y. Vanadium, of course. Right, uh, let's see this vanadium. Downstairs. Yes, there is. Right, back to the lift. I've already picked up the other antimony, so that's not too bad. Way back to that story, so it's round and down. I forgot to put on the red suit, so hopefully this is a clean and clear route. Rad suit, not rat suit. I'd like to make it clear here and now that whilst I hold nothing against them personally, I'm not a fairy myself. I think I just overheat far too much in those suits. In the gut, whilst we're waiting for this bar to fill up, which is uh, of course exciting, riveting gameplay. Um, in regards to the Resident Evil 2 remake, um, I think it's interesting that uh, we're not getting quite the same sort of crossover um, campaign that we got with the original game. So, obviously, with the first, with the first, that's going to sound weird. The first Resident Evil 2. Uh, you had the two discs and you could do either Leon A and Claire B or Claire A and Leon B. In this one there will just be the Leon campaign and the Claire campaign but they will interlink in uh, some ways if you decide to play both of them. So that is sort of an interesting way of doing things but it just means that um, you're not going to have two different uh, sides to say Leon's way of going through things. I'm sorry that you're disappointed about the lack of rat suitage but unfortunately all I've got in my wardrobe to the right here is some uh, nice shirts, a couple of nice dresses, some socks, 
So I've got some vaguely ironic comedy t-shirts and a couple of wrestling shirts, and that's about it. I feel there's something of a juxtaposition between our drum and bass soundtrack and the uh, research progress bar tracking up at sort of a one percentage every couple of seconds. Come, come into the exciting world of science. Look at what you can do. That's right, come and join your fellow explorers of the scientific fields of chemistry and watch as you both do this. Yeah. Of course, if this was just me playing on my own, I wouldn't have as much of a problem. I'd pop to the other room, make a drink, maybe make a sandwich. It's just uh, unfortunately sort of a tiny bit boring for everyone who's watching here, but unfortunately this is something that's uh, required for game progress, so a bit stuck here for the time being. This is a 20% to go. Uh, of course, sort of, uh, as we were talking before about um, games that will be coming up uh, to play, um, once we're done with the seventh guest, um, the Tuesday streams will, as I've said before, be sort of dedicated to generally sort of the more um, adventure and puzzle game side of things. So um, I will be going through sort of some of the early Monkey Island games. Um, so I'll definitely be going through sort of the first three of those. I've I've played the first two before a number of times, so it will be fun to go through those. I've never played the third one, and of course that recently became available on Steam and GOG, so that's going to be a blind playthrough. I'm um, looking forward to getting through that with everyone else here. And as to what kind of sandwich I'd make, I'm a simple man at heart. Ham, cheese, and Branston pickle. And it has to be Branston Pickle, none of this store own brand nonsense. The ham and the cheese, that can be own brand, that's fine. It's not the important ingredient, but the Branston Pickle, that's it. So if you want to sponsor me, Branston, I'll happily take your money and your pickle. Right, let's see if there's any CF and GA whilst we're in here. So there's definitely no GA here. Right, so we've researched Toxin A, so we know what we're doing with that. I've gone the one direction, so let's go out the other door. Just quick save there, so in case it crashes, we don't have to sit through the tedium of researching again. And apparently there are some anti Branston uh, people. I've lost two viewers after my declaration of support for Branston Pickle. Good riddance. Okay, the vials 
of Toxin A need to be placed directly into the environmental regulators. There should be four on this deck. If you can get a vial into each of the regulators, you should be able to significantly impact the growth of those despicable creatures. That should remove the biomatter from the elevator shaft. There we go. So our quest is a uh, biological warfare. Happy fun times for everyone. Right, that's researching, that's going to be used in research. That's being researched. I'm, that's for energy weapons, so I think I can get rid of that. I'm not going to be using a grenade launcher, so get rid of that. Don't really need that anymore. We're not going to use the game. So, so just a quick bit of rearranging that we are starting to definitely run out of space. Because we'll be carrying around a bunch of those canisters soon. So I don't feel like being attached to a great big globby mess. Uh, Fluxy boy, no, I've not had the spiders yet. Unfortunately, I can't remember the exact corridor they turn up in. But you'll know when you see them. They're not massive, but they're there. Why couldn't it have been Tuesday? Well, if it is Tuesday, or well, the replicator's lying to me. I feel like a new man. I have a purpose. 
more important than the mission. Even more important than Triaptimum. I will protect them. No matter what. I will protect them. God's sake. Of course, once again, the worst enemies in this game. Ladders. Here, the living thing. Where is it? There you go. Did I finish that? Searching this. Don't need any chemicals, that's good. Yeah, I can start doing some more damage to these uh, horrible mechanical ladies. the blooming things first. And there's the uh, frog emote there in reference to the jump scare I just had.
security system online. Is it? I was out there. Our security panel was down the other way. All right. Fine. This is Xerxes. Please report any electrical anomalies to your direct superior. Remember. A smooth operation is everybody's responsibility. damage against those. I'd say 25, so that's about 21 that I can spend. left that should be enough to uh, at least hopefully find one more of these toxins. Security system offline. There you are, you little bugger. around here before I jump through that window. I'm changing. My head is full of wonderful ideas and experiments. They have so many miracles to share, so much knowledge to give. They told me how to make this implant. They said it would make a better me of me. I wish I had more time so I could give it to them. Just 
fuck? she came from considering we uh, cleared out the area but hey ho a second. <laughs> My monitor decided it wanted to go into automatic standby mode. facing first. Uh, Jibnal Prime, um, I am using some updated graphics and texture mods for this playthrough, so uh, it looks better than it did. I figure sort of as I'm streaming it, um, and as I've never used them before, sort of it would be nice to uh, just go through with them for sort of for the first time. Other than that, the game remains uh, pretty much untouched. Nothing sort of gameplay altering. No, oh, no gameplay cheats are being used. Ah, oh, that was a bad move. Right. Can we see her from up here? Sometimes it uh, may be a, technically an RPG, but a bit of strafing never hurts.
lots of goodies in here, thankfully. I've chosen Nurse Bloom as the new mother to our children. She is sweet and kind, healthy and a perfect match. She has a child of her own back on Earth. She knows what it is to care for their young. Oh, they worry ya. If she only knew what the future held, she'd share the joys of the many. So sadly a little bit of a uh, sci-fi uh, biological horror, body horror version of the Handmaid's Tale there. As mentioned last stream, uh, this game is built on the Dark Engine, which uh, powered Thief the Dark project, which came out the year before. Which unfortunately isn't always the most robust at getting about. It can feel a bit clunky at times. Right, so that's two toxins down. To the biomass. And your suffering will end. Right, so we've got card for sector A, that'll be up there. Sector B's up here. So We'll get to the entrance to Sector A, so I'm at least pointed in the right direction and we will be calling it a night at that point, as I do unfortunately have to get to bed at some point. It is uh, about 10 o'clock here in the UK, so we'll make a save there. Right, quit the main menu. And we'll just come to the end so we've not got a bad timing. So thanks very much for joining me for our second part of our uh, playthrough on System Shock 2 there. Hope you've been enjoying uh, going back through it or indeed even if it's your first time watching it I hope you're seeing sort of uh, where some of the inspiration for uh, Blade Games has come from. Uh, particularly it's uh, sort of a very sort of well-placed branching point between sort of your more traditional uh, first-person shooters and uh, the sort of RPG light elements into uh, what would become known as immersive sim games um, popularized by System Shock 2 and Deus Ex the next year um, and the, the series that continued on from that. Uh, we are going to be continuing on with System Shock 2 next week at the same time and we will be continuing on until the games finish. So don't worry that we're going to be sort of uh, stopping before reaching the climax of the game. As stated, uh, Tuesday will not be System Shock 2. We will be uh, starting a new game and that's going to be the horror puzzle adventure game The Seventh Guest featuring a whole lot of early 90s FMV live action acting and that is going to be either fantastic or fantastically bad. I am possibly veering towards the latter but we'll see when we get there. So again thank you very much for joining us. It is the 2nd of August 2018 at time of broadcast. The Great Nuclear War has not yet occurred so if you're watching this in the future and you are living in a nuclear wasteland, keep warm, keep safe and watch out for the giant nuclear termites. Goodbye.